Hey, my name is Forrest. Welcome back. So, programmers need more math. Do you agree with that? If you say no, is that you proclaiming you know more than Turing award-winning computer scientist Leslie Lamport, aka the father of distributed computing, the man who created the typesetting system we all heavily used to write math papers back in school called LaTeX, and specification language TLA+, because he's the one stating programmers need more math. But why? Well, it all stems from the problem, a fundamental issue that Leslie Lamport points out in his interviews in how programmers approach their work. He says, most programmers just start writing code. They don't even know what the algorithm is. It's like starting to build without a blueprint. But wait, I, I'm not really writing any groundbreaking algorithms that use intensive math. And the algorithms that I do use, well, this Redditor actually said it best. The standard library of modern languages have good enough near perfect implementations of every algorithm commonly used in computing. The edge cases that aren't in those libraries are not seen by 95% of software engineers. But you have to realize that Lamport he's not really talking to us. He's focusing on those working on complex systems, particularly distributed systems, since that's his area of expertise. Those building critical infrastructure where correctness and efficiency are most important. But that doesn't mean this advice doesn't apply to us, because actually, it does. You see, this approach, just writing code without understanding, it leads to several problems. Lamport says, the program is hard to debug and inefficient because you would be trying to optimize at the code level rather than at the algorithm level. We should do what almost every other field of science and engineering does, initially describe the problem with math instead. You see, Lamport argues that the solution lies in mathematical thinking. I mean, Lamport believes in this idea so much that he developed developed TLA+, which engineers have used to find bugs in AWS and Microsoft Azure, and to reduce the code size of an operating system used on the Rosetta spacecraft by a factor of 10. But all of this boils down to three things. Math allows you to express algorithms precisely, yet simply. Mathematical descriptions can lead to more efficient code, and it helps clarify thinking before coding begins. You know what this sounds like? A very specific use case of writing pseudocode before writing real code. And I don't know about y'all, but when I was learning how to code, I had multiple professors teaching me just this. Instead of getting bogged down by the syntax that you don't understand yet, take a step back, focus on the logic and the overall structure of the program. That right there is a piece of advice for all new programmers out there. Don't focus on the syntax, focus on the logic, write pseudocode, then write real code. And as you get better, you won't need to do this for the simpler things anymore, just the more complex things. And that's where Leslie Lamport's idea of mathematical thinking can be applied to any programmer. And his idea of programmers needing more math, that is just a way to have a deeper understanding of what you're trying to do and solving it with math precisely before worrying about the syntax and writing it in code. But this whole topic raises another point, and that is math's place in software development. That's why I get so many questions like, do I need to be good at math to learn programming? The answer is no, but maybe. L let me explain. If you're wanting to get into machine learning or data science or distributed systems, then yeah. Depending on which one, you'll need to learn linear algebra, calculus, differential equations, and so many more. But for web development, no. The misconception around all of this arises from the fact that programming, software development, is a field of computer science. And obtaining a computer science degree is the most popular pathway to becoming a software developer. And a computer science degree requires a litany of math courses because computer science is a field of mathematics. It's just mathematics applied to computers, which is why the most legendary computer scientists of all time are mathematicians, including Leslie Lamport. But in modern software development, we have just so many tools that take care of all of this logic that are built to make our jobs easier. So we don't have to understand all of the intricacies of, let's say, a sorting algorithm because I just use dot sort and that's it. However, if you're the one building these tools that handles all of this, then well, you're probably going to have to understand how some of these work so you can make sure that dot sort is the most efficient in the most use cases because, well, obviously, that's what you want. So do programmers really need more math? Maybe, it just depends. But should we all take the advice that Leslie Lamport is sharing of mathematical thinking to improve programming? Uh, focusing on 
figuring out the logic before writing code? Yes, just use it fit it in whatever type of development that you do. Anyway, I was just reading some articles and I found these two from Leslie Lamport about math and programming and I thought it was pretty cool information so I wanted to share it with y'all. If you want to do more reading, there is more in there regarding this, more details. I'll leave those linked down below and that's all. Bye.